Hi guys, welcome to Plastic Surgeon Vlog. In this video, we will see how you can read the CT scan at home. So, in the CT, CT the most common indication of the facial CT scan is when patient is having a road traffic accident. 95% cases of the road traffic accident, we used to uh, like after clinical examination, we prescribe patient further CT scan because certain sometimes subtle injuries cannot be seen on the clinical examination. And certain other indications are if patient is having oral cancer or if patient is having medullary cancer. So, some other variety of the facial cancers we used to advise patients. CT scan. So there are two cuts of the CT scan. One is the coronal cut we take like this and the other one is the axial cut we take like this like up and down and this forward to backward. This is forward to backward. This is up and down or down and up whatever. So coronal and axial cuts. So now in this patient this is the normal CT scan. If you see this normal CT scan there is the frontal sinus. Okay these are the your orbital cavities your eyes. This is the globe of your eyes and these are your intraocular muscles. These gray gray structures are intraocular muscles, the eye muscles. So these are globe. This is orbital cavity, which is totally intact. You can see intactness of the right cavity all around. And then this is your nasal bone, this which is also intact. The midline is your nasal septum, which is little bit deviated and we cannot like tell the reason because sometimes it is deviated because of some congenital problem or it is deviated because of the fracture these black part are your maxillary sinus beneath the cheekbones there is the maxillary sinus so these are the maxillary sinus and this is your cheekbone this which is known as zygoma and this is mandible so this is the normal CT scan now this is abnormal CT scan if you see on the left side there is intactness of the orbital cavity or your bony orbit but here you can see that there is a fracture of the floor so because of this fracture fracture now the content has sunken down to maxillary sinus so here you can see the intactness of the maxillary sinus but here if you can see that sub some substance are there in the maxillary sinus so this indicate this is the fracture of the orbital roof on the left side right side otherwise uh, septum is intact other structures are intact this is the fracture of the orbital floor but this fracture has not is that much big as we have seen in the previous scan so because of this this fracture is not displaced so there is bleeding bleeding will bleeding has caused this collection of the blood in the maxillary sinus this is known as air fluid level in the maxillary sinus or in the more medical term we can say this this is a hemosinus blood in the sinus here there is no fracture so there is no blood in the sinus sinus is very clear but here the sinus has filled with the blood because of this small fracture so these kind of fracture we use no we use we uh, like usually not go, uh, go for the repair because these are undisplaced fracture and patient don't have that much eye signs if patient is having eye sign like entrapment of the muscles intraocular muscle in that case we have to do the pleating of this area otherwise this kind of fracture, fracture we don't go for the uh, pleating now this is the nasal bone this is the most commonly stru uh, involved structure in the facial fracture so this is the continuous continuity of the nasal bone but if patient is having fracture so this continuity will be disturbed so you can say the multiple fractures are there this is known as comminuted fracture of the nasal bone this is the nasal septum which is midline place this is not displayed this is nasal septum these are the sinus cavities okay now here you can see that this is the your uh, frontal sinus and here you can see this frontal sinus fracture is there this the intactness is not there in the bone so the frontal sinus is involved the frontal sinus fracture now in this scan you can see that cheekbone this is the cheekbone your both the cheekbones right and the left so the cheekbone fracture is there so if you see this there is continuity although there is subtle very small fractures there but this is as a gross we see this is continuous but in this side if you see there is fracture line is there here and here so at two places this cheekbone which is known as zygoma bone is fractured here in this skin okay now move to the other skin here also you can see that there is the fracture line here is the maxillary zygomatic buttress so you can see here is the fracture line this is the fracture line on the other side it is intact but here you can see that intactness or continuity is not there so this is the fracture of the zygoma another cheekbone fracture now second most common bone of the facial bone fracture is mandible or your jaw bone in the jaw you can see this is the discontinuity so this is the fracture of the jaw at the body location this is the location of the fracture so this is the jaw fracture here you can see two fracture in the jaw one is here and one is here so this is the one fracture and this is the another fraction if there is no fracture then you will see the continuity of the jaw but you but the continuity is disturbed that indicating is a 
jaw fracture and both the sides are discontinued so it's a bicortical fracture if only one side is disturbed this is unicortical fracture so here it is unicortical simple fracture it is bicortical fracture or the complex fracture now this is this is what this is coronal view of the mandible so like this so in this view you can see that one side of the mandible is intact but the other side is fractured is this location and the upper segment of the condyle is displaced laterally here you can see the displacement of the condyle laterally if you want to see how we can fix these facial fracture in the plastic surgery by the operation you can go to the description box and click on the link of the surgery video or in the at the end of the video i also put that link so you can watch this nowadays we used to like directly go for the 3d ct of the face because 3d ct 3d ct of the face gives much more much much more information than the usual conventional ct scan so this is the ct scan of the 3d ct scan of the face where we can see each and every detail in very like we go to very fine detail in the 3d ct of the face where you can see that both the orbital cavities are normal these are the orbital fissures inside then the usual foramens this is your cheekbone both the side intact then your mandible is intact these patient's uh, teeth okay and this is the mandible and here you can see there there is a fracture in the skull bone so this is the depressed fracture of the skull bone that we have to treat uh, we have to treat in this case so this is all about the city face how do you can read the city face so i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe this channel in case you have any query you can put in the comment section you can go to facebook messenger or we have instagram account also so thanks for watching it have a nice day bye bye